So today I have an easy transition idea for you guys that you can easily implement into any of your projects. And honestly, it'll only take you a few minutes to do it. Let's call this one the free split transition. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this type of content. Because if you don't, I'll stop making these videos. Before we start, I just want to thank Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check out the link in the description down below. Here's a clip that I found on Storyblocks video that I'll be using as my main clip and also the transition piece. It will be a lot easier to pull this off if you use a clip where you can easily divide and mask off sections like the clip I chose here. For the second clip that you're revealing, you can choose any type you want, but just make sure it makes sense. Drag your main clip onto your project timeline. Find a point in the clip where you want your transition to begin and place the skimming bar at that point. Then click on retiming options and select hold. This should freeze the entire clip. Look for the draw mask tool and drag it on top of the first clip. Place the points at the part where you want to split the clip. Try to be as accurate as possible when placing these key points to ensure that the transition is pulled off smoothly. Now make a copy of the same clip with command and C and then paste it underneath the first one. But for this one, under the Draw Mask Tool Inspector Bar, click on Invert. Add the second clip that you want to reveal and place it underneath at the bottom. Once you're done that, with the first clip selected, move 1-3 to three frames over after you have frozen the clip. Then place a keyframe on Position. Move another 10 frames and then click on the Transform tab. Now drag the clip out of the frame. For the second clip, move 2-3 to three frames over to the right after the top one has disappeared and then do the exact same thing. Check off the keyframe for position, move another 10 frames over with your right arrow key, then drag the clip away from the frame. Now let's add some shakiness to the clip just to add more depth to the transition. Press B on your keyboard to bring up the blade tool and slice off the part where you started the freeze frame. Do this for both clips. Look for earthquake in the effects tab and drag it onto the second half of your top clip. With the skimming cursor placed at the beginning of the freeze frame clip, adjust the earthquake amount to zero, then add a keyframe. Move over about three to four frames, then add about 25% to that amount. Now copy this effect by highlighting the top clip and pressing Command plus C. Paste it to the bottom one by selecting it, then pressing Shift, Command, and V. Make sure to only paste the earthquake attributes and nothing else. Color grade and add sound effects if you wish. Special thanks again to Storyblocks Video for sponsoring this tutorial. All the footage that I used in this tutorial were from Storyblocks Video. They honestly make my job a lot easier having these type of clips around for me to use for my personal projects or projects for clients. If you need a quick b-roll clip to use for your projects, pretty sure Storyblocks Video will have it for you. So again, make sure to check out their website in the description down below.